Buenas tardes a todos y a todas. Disculpe, no puedo hablar en castellano. Uh, hablo inglés. And I want to make you shout something too, like our friends. Um, we have been saying for a year and a half, we've been telling the governments that we won't pay for your crisis. And we've been saying put the people and the planet first before profits. And the governments and the G20, and of course the banks, have replied, oh yes, you'll pay for our crisis. You will pay, not us. And we put profits before people or the planet. So wait till we fix the banks, and then maybe we can do something for you. But they show no signs, either the governments individually or the G20 of doing anything for the people or the planet. So I would like you to shout with me, the banks are ours. Los bancos son nuestros. Los bancos son nuestros. The banks are ours. Los bancos son nuestros. Because it's true. Es la verdad. It is true because any bank that has received public money has received our money from our taxes. It doesn't fall out of the sky. And those banks have been saved because of us and now they are speculating against us. They are making money every time the euro drops or rises for that matter. They are making money. So enough is enough, and I think this has to be our first demand. It is politically feasible. I have been asked to be very short, so I won't go into any details. Credit should be a public good. I don't mean throwing money into the streets, but credit should be accessible, particularly to small and medium enterprise and to households that have a green or a social project. There is no reason that democracy should stop at the door of the economy. The economy needs to be entirely democratized and we should be supporting companies that are trying to do business in a social or cooperative way because it is small and medium enterprise that provide 90% of the employment in Europe. We must force open the tax havens, paraisos fiscales. We have to get them open. The G20 said they would do something about that. They have done nothing. They put it under the rug. We must get the European Central Bank under control, which means fighting against the present system, which is mandated by the Lisbon Treaty. The European Central Bank lends to banks at 1% interest. It does not lend to states. States then have to borrow from the financial markets. So the banks that receive money at 1% lend it out at 4 or 5 or 6 or more percent to governments that are in a state where they have to borrow. You don't have to be a genius to make money when you can borrow at 1% and lend at 4, 5, 6, or 10. We have to change the entire tax system. We all know that in our own countries, it's true in France, it's true in Greece, and I suppose it's true in Spain, the very rich do not pay their fair share of taxes. This has got to stop. We must also tax internationally. This is a proposal that is now being taken somewhat seriously, but we need a push to make them do it, because they are now saying that IMF 
and the G20 are saying, no, we'll make a nice fund for the banks. They can contribute to a fund, and then if they get into trouble again, there will be insurance for them. No, there must be international taxation that is used for the poor and the people of the South. A third must be used to prepare the green economy and another third to take care of Europeans in trouble. Uh, we are not saving Greece or Spain. We are certainly not saving the Greeks and the Spaniards. None of the, what is needed to be done is going to happen without constant popular pressure and strong alliances between all of our groups, whether we are farmers, trade unionists, whether we are from Latin America or from Europe, whether we are women, men, or ecologists, or whatever our main interest, we must come together because it is when the people speak with one voice that the politicians are obliged to do something. Nobody can win alone, but together we can win. Thank you.